-hmm. Let's talk about four free ways that you can access and study scores. Score study is important not just for composers but also musicians. You need to find out how to make your practice more efficient. So you could actually study scores without your instrument and when you get to your practice with your instrument, you could be much more efficient. First method that you can access free scores is the old school method, which means your local school, your local community library. You'll be surprised. In Singapore, we have the Esplanade Music Library, which has incredible collection of music scores. So when I was at Northwestern, the music library would actually put out scores that they want to discard. Like these are extra copies or like very, very old copies of the scores. And you know, I was just like really surprised after class, I would see scores right outside the library, just pick them up. Even though they may not be in good shape, it serves the purpose you actually could study the scores for free. Let's move on to the virtual world. Domain free public scores are scores available after a certain number of years that the composer has died. So it's available for everyone for free. Uh, one popular website is IMSLP, of course. Online music library like UCLA and many other universities, many other academic institutions allow you to study these music scores for free online. You can just, you don't even have to get out of your room. So these are academic scholarly studies available for you to study the scores of uh, contemporary composers. You can also check out those websites that you can purchase scores and usually they have a preview. You can preview the first page or the first few pages. Uh, you'll be surprised how much you can learn just studying the first few pages. Like I actually uh, was looking at uh, guitar and flute pieces because I was writing a guitar and flute and I learned a lot just by looking at the first few pages. The third method is YouTube what you're watching right now. There are actually many YouTube channels that offer theoretical explanation of scores and they are a lot easier because uh, I, I, they actually walk you through the scores and even analyze the harmony, the melody, and it's just so much easier compared to re reading text, right? You're ju just watching a video. Um, one of my favorite channel is uh, David Bennett Thomas. I will put a link to the channel below. Uh, he's a faculty of at UArts Philadelphia. He actually analyzes a lot of scores, jazz, classical. It's just so easy to follow and you can learn a lot. Uh, there are other websites that allow you to access contemporary composers. Uh, the most famous ones that I know are Score Follower, in Sify, George Giano Paulos. I'll put the links to these YouTube channels in the description below. Uh, do check them out. They have helped me a lot and I'm sure they'll help you too. Is you can study scores for free without leaving the comfort of your home. The fourth method is opening your mouth and ask. You'll be surprised. Um, chamber orchestra practice, you know, you can just ask your conductor. Um, can I take a look at a score between, you know, their, their breaks or after your rehearsals? I really want to take a look at measure 20, you know, there's just amazing texture. There's just some amazing texture, you know, I want to, I want to take a look at a conductor score. Just open your mouth and you'll be surprised, like, you can find out, you can just learn a lot. Another way is actually just to email to reach out to composers in your city, in your country. You'll be surprised, like, in this community, uh, you're, there are people are actually really helpful. If you're a performer, if you approach uh, especially uh, emerging composers, they are not really that established, they'll be more than willing to share the scores with you. You can say that, you know, you're a performer that you really like to take a look at the score, possibly for a uh, upcoming performance. Composers are very, very happy to share the scores with you. Of course, ask your composition teachers and your fellow classmates that took the same composition or theory classes. You know, stay in touch and you, ha you have access to scores that you can study. What are some other methods that you can access scores for free? I would love to hear from you. Do share them in the comments section below and share with everyone. Until then, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Right into this video. So let's get right. So let's get right into this video. So get the third method is YouTube. The third, the third method is YouTube. The third method is YouTube. What you're watching right now, there are actually many websites. Oh, there are many channels that it's walk okay, you through. It's okay, got it. Bye. <laughs> Why is your bias? Your bias.